I was born on 16th March 1978, a second son of five children in northern Sri Lanka in a Tamil family. We all lived together. My grandpa, grandma, parents, my brother and sisters. When I was five years old, the civil war in Sri Lanka began. Everything changed. I don't know how many times we have to leave the house. We have no sleep. And every time when we come back, we have to start again. My sister, my oldest sister, she began to be kidney failure maiden in the civil war. There was only one hospital in northern Sri Lanka, in Jaffna. I can remember my mom and me with my sister. We spent a lot of time in the hospital to see one doctor. It wasn't possible every time. There's a lot of people are waiting. When she was 12 years, she needed dialysis. There's no medicine, no dialysis. She died. I finished my sixth class in the school. It wasn't possible for me to go to school. Very dangerous. I started with my dad on the street diet to tell vegetables, fruits, and gasoline to get money. When I became 12 years, a lot of kids with 12 are going to fight against the government. It's also dangerous. A lot of 12 years boys was killed by military. My mom asked me to go to German. I said, okay. Come from Sri Lanka north to Taut, to capital Colombo. And my mom find a smuggler. She get the money from my uncle who lived in Hamburg. And she also sell the one of the land to get the money. She paid. The guy Smuggler told us he will bring me within five days to Europe. On 6 January 1991, my mom stood in front of me. She kneed. I started to cry. And that moment, I understood. I'm going alone, not with my mom. I have to promise my mom three things. Don't drink alcohol, don't smoke, and come back as a doctor. I started my journey from Colombo to Singapore. From Singapore to Dubai, from Dubai to Togo. Six months. I spent more than six months with more than 200 Tamil people who are on the way to Europe. Then I crossed the border from Togo to Ghana. After four weeks, I came back to Togo, to Benin, Nigeria. In the night, 9th September 1991, after eight months, we come via Spain with the flight to Germany. I landed in Frankfurt. I come to Hamburg to my uncle. It's a nice picture, the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I went to school 
I learned German language. A few months later, I never believed. I was class representative, then school speaker. I get a letter, letter from government. My asylum was rejected. I lost my control. I had no power. I stand in the relief of our 11th floor building. I wanted to jump. I saw images of my family. My grandpa, grandma, my mom. I have to keep the promise. Next day, I went to school and I told everybody my story. My classmates, my teachers, and everybody helped me. They paid my lawyer and my class teacher. He paid everything for me. I can continue my school and I finished it. After I started in the medical school in the university. 2006, I wrote my first book, The Lonely Escape. I want to say, Germany, why I come here and how. It's very important. The first time when I came here, I didn't understand German, so I can't. Now, I wanted to give the refugees a voice. The people have to understand what the people are, why people are coming to us. When they understand, they will open the door. I dedicated this book for my German father, Lawrence Kühler. He was my teacher. 2008, happy year. Yeah. You can believe it. I never believed when I was 12 years on the street side to selling vegetable and fruit and gasoline that one time my goal, my dream will happen. It's happened because I'm here in Germany. I can remember the whispering of my mom and we waited in the room to get appointment with the doctor. She said, one time when we get a doctor in our family, that will be great. It's powerful. It's powerful words. That was the inspiration, the energy for me that I need to finish my medical school. At the same time, 2008, I get German citizen. I wanted, I wanted to be a part of my society, and I get it. I was so happy, I make a big party. <laughs> yes. 2014, when I come from my work at home, I had a call, missed call from New York, Toronto, London. My brothers and sisters are living there, and from Sri Lanka, and from Hamburg. My dad passed away. I'm a doctor. I had no chance to help him. In a Hindu traditional, I have to be there, but I don't want to go. I don't want to go to Sri Lanka, to the country where the military killed a lot of Tamil people. The end of the war in May 2009. I never wanted to leave Germany. But I did it. I did it for the culture of my parents. 
I went there. We have five nationalities. I am German. My mom is Sri Lankan. My parents sent every kid out of the country. My brother is American living in New York. My one sister is Canadian living in Toronto. Another one in London, British. We were all together. After 24 years, it was a bad situation. My dad was passed away, but it was great to come together. I have to put the fire on the body. It's the traditional. I learned the culture where I was born, the culture of my parents, adding everything to give the last respect for my dad. One week later, before I am leave, I show my mom. She's a powerful mom, but she had no smile. The background under the mango tree, which I planted with my dad and sister 28 years ago. I asked mom, can you remember 6 January 1991? No. Mom, I never drink alcohol. I never touch a cigarette. Now I'm a doctor. This smile. And I come back to home, to Hamburg. I have a new dream, new goal. I wanted to be a cardiac surgeon. I think cardiac surgeons are cool, so why not? I started in the hospital, in the university hospital in Hamburg. I was a speaker for the doctors, and I come parliament members for the doctors' parliament. It names in German, Erzkammer. After seven years, my training didn't end. The clinic support also Germans, but other Germans. I asked them, they said, for you, it's a no. I never want to be a victim of discrimination, or war, or racism, because of my color, because of my sexual orientation. No. I never want to forget my own dream, my own goal. I take another way. I leave my hometown, Hamburg. I went to Bavaria. Now I can say, next year, I will finish. I will be a cardiac surgeon. 2017, yeah, <laughs> Bavaria. 2017, I wrote my second book. The Fremde, Deutsche, the foreign German. Why? Look at me. I come here as a little mango tree with little roots. You can't bring a tree without roots. Now, I'm bigger. I'm a big mango tree. I can't look like a German work. But you can't be bigger when you don't have new roots. I have it. My roots are from German work. Nobody can see that. When the people are starting to talk with me, then they will know, oh, it's not the only a mango tree. No. That's what I want to do. I want to make better communication between the people who are coming to us, the people who are living here. I don't want to be only the part of our society. 
I will help shape the society in the future. In the past, on my way to catch a dream and goals, it wasn't easy. There's a lot of stone. I fell down. But I had a lot of people who helped me. It's okay to go to ask them to help. Friends, family, teachers, neighbors. I will give you the power, inspiration for your own goals and dreams. The life is so beautiful. Life it, love it. Go and catch your own goals and dreams. When you have, then you can give for the next generation the motivation and the power. Thank you.